This is our video number one on free agent accounting software. In this video, we are discussing that how to create a new company in free agent accounting software. Free agent is a cloud-based accounting software company based in Edinburgh, Scotland. Free agent accounting software is designed for small businesses, freelancers and accountants. So in this video, we're going to set up a new company in free agent accounting software. So for that purpose, you need to click this tab. You need to click this option, try free agent. So when you click this option, this window will open and here you need to fill this form to create a company or to register with this free agent accounting software. So I'm going to enter the name that is Burhan. The last name I'm going to enter that is Ali and you need to register your email ID with free agent accounting software. So I'm going to enter this email ID and confirm your email ID also. Then you need to enter the business name. So our business name is Burhan Motors LLC. Then you need to enter the business type. So our business type is that is a limited liability partnership company in UK. Then you need to give a strong password. So I'm going to enter my password now. And then you need to click this option, get started with free agent. So when you click this, it will move to the next window where you need to enter some uh, company information to create a new company in free agent accounting software. So these are the four most important information you need to enter if you want to create a new company in free agent. So the first step is that you need to enter your business detail. So here you need to confirm your business type. This can't be changed later. So our business type is that is a limited liability partnership company in the UK. Then you need to select the business category. So our business category is automotive. Then that is our business name, which is Burhan Motors LLC. You need to give your company registration number. So for example, it is 16690. Then you need to mention the business address. So our business address is Eskin Tower office number 503 and that that is located in Blackburn so you need to select your town that is for example in Blackburn region or state I'm gonna select the same Blackburn you need to give your post or zip code so I'm gonna enter BB1 1 PU and the country that is is that is United Kingdom so now you can click this option save and continue so when you click this save and continue it will move to the second window that is a second information which you need to enter and that is accounting dates so here first we have when did you officially start your business so by default it is coming 6 april so let's assume it i want to start my business on 1st april 2020 next you need to enter when did your first accounting year ends that is on 31st march 2021 after this you need to enter this information what date do you want to keep your books from so i'm gonna start my accounting or books from uh, 1st april 2020 so i enter this accounting date information and then you need to click this option save and continue so when you click this option it will move to this third information that is vat details so now here it will ask you that are you a vat registered company and here we have three options not registered registration applied for or registered one so uh we are a registered company in uk so i'm gonna select this third option which is registered so when you select here the register you need to fill this vat information so now you need to enter a VAT registration number that is a nine digit code. Then you need to enter this effective date of VAT registration. So that is on 
1st April 2020. Then first VAT return period uh, end dates uh, end date that is the first quarter April, May and June so that is 31st of May. Then a default VAT return frequency that we are filing uh, a quarterly VAT return, monthly or yearly. So we are filing our VAT return that is quarterly. Then VAT accounting based on your VAT registration date, invoice or cash. So we are handling, we are doing accrual based accounting, not the cash based. So it is invoice based. Next, were you on a flat rate scheme on your VAT registration date? So that is no, we are not uh, using flat rate scheme. Enable EC VAT reporting. EC means European Commission. So we are not doing business with the European countries. So that's why we're going to select this option. No. But in case if your business, uh, if your company is doing business with the European countries, so then you need to select this option. Enable EC VAT reporting. So in our case, we are not doing business with the European countries at the moment. So I'm going to select this option. No. And then you need to click this save and continue so when you click this save and continue it will move to the last uh, banking setup uh, window so here we have this account name i'm using this business current account if your this bank account uh, is using for both purposes for personal and business transactions so then you need to check this option so now i'm going to enter my bank information so our bank name is that is royal bank of scotland here you need to give your bank account number and that is our sort code or bank code so i'm going to enter that sort code or bank code information and if there is an opening balance so i'm going to enter right now the opening balance is 75 pound and then you need to click this option save and finish so when you click this option save and finish it will move to the last window where the free agent software is asking you that you want to connect your this bank account so I'm going to connect this bank account later. So click this. When you click this connect later, it will move to the first window or the first page of free agent accounting software. So this is how you can create a company in free agent accounting software. If you guys have any question related with this topic, you can ask your question in the comment section. We will reply.